Hi, my name is Lynn from Technical Support. In this video, we'll be discussing the benefits of working with ArcGIS Online. We will review how easily the data can be uploaded to ArcGIS Online and then shared with your colleagues. We'll also explore how to edit the data in ArcGIS Online and ArcGIS Pro. ArcGIS Online is a cloud-based mapping platform that offers collaboration tools for creating, visualizing, editing, and sharing spatial information. Some key benefits to using ArcGIS Online. It's easy to share data, maps, apps, and other items with your different teams and the public. You can visualize your data spatially through web maps and apps that can be accessed from anywhere at any time. Your data can be accessed in web browser, ArcGIS Pro, smartphone, tablets, and even be embedded in your own websites. There's no need to access a file share for your data. You can simply publish to ArcGIS Online and then share with your intended audience. Another benefit to ArcGIS Online is that the content is pre-rendered, ready to use, and hosted by Esri, so you don't have to invest in additional hardware, staff, or training. You can use ArcGIS Online as a standalone solution, or you can use it to extend the capabilities of ArcGIS Desktop. You can publish a variety of item types to ArcGIS Online, but for this video, we'll focus on creating feature layers. A feature layer is a grouping of similar geographic features that can be either points, lines, or polygons. You can view, edit, and analyze feature layers. You can also control how the layer appear in your web map with symbology, pop-ups, and labels. If you're familiar with shapefiles, and feature classes, you already have a good foundation to work with feature layers. Now that we know what a feature layer is, how do we publish to ArcGIS Online? We'll discuss two different methods, starting with ArcGIS Pro. So in ArcGIS Pro, all you would have to do is click the Share ribbon, Web Layer, and Publish Web Layer. This will open the Share as Web Layer geoprocessing tool. You'll have to enter a name, a summary of your data, and add tags. Tags are keywords used to describe the data. They are used to find and search your content in online. Keep the layer type as feature. You can choose how the hosted feature layer will be shared, either with everyone, with just your organization, or within a group. Under the Configuration tab, you can enable Editing, Sync, and Export Data. This can be changed at a later time, but I already know that I want my healthcare facilities to be edited, so I'm going to check this on. If you go back to the General tab, we'll click Analyzed. Analyze will let you know if there's any outstanding errors with your data that will prevent you from publishing. If you don't have any red X's, you're good to go. These are only warning messages. I can still publish with those. So I'll have to click is publish. It'll analyze the data and then start publishing. So while this is publishing, let's look at another way you can add hosted content to ArcGIS Online. So we're gonna go to ArcGIS Online and sign in. So you can easily create a hosted feature layer by clicking Add Item from your computer and then choose a file. You'll have to um, choose a zipped file. So for this, I zipped up one of my FileJ database that has one feature class. So I'm going to open. I'm going to tell what kind of contents it is because I know it's a FileJ database. I'll select FileJ database. I'm going to keep this checked on, publish this file as a hosted layer. I'm going to add a title, Florida test one. Again, I have to add tags. Yeah. Boop. And then I'm going to click add item. Because I've done this already, I'm just going to leave it go. Here is the data that I published. I'm going to have a look at it. And here is my data. Now that our hosted feature layer has been created, we can edit this through the map viewer. So click on open map viewer. This will add your host feature layer to a web map where you will have access to the button edit where you can add new features 
or you can click on a feature that exists already and edit the attribute information. So I can add a few more people for the total population to the Jackson counties. With ArcGIS Online, you don't have to click the Save buttons. Your edits are saved automatically. So you can also edit a hosted feature layer in ArcGIS Pro. So you can access your hosted feature layer through the catalog window through Portal. And you can just browse to your data. Here is my healthcare facility that we published previously through Pro. Here's Florida. It's added. Now, if I want to edit it, I click the Edit tab. Again, I can create new features or I can select a feature and edit the attribute information. So here's Liberty, we're gonna county, we're gonna add a few more people living here also. You'll have to click apply. And you also have to click save in ArcGIS Pro to save your edits. If you don't click save, your edits will be discarded. A nice thing about editing your hosted feature layer in ArcGIS Pro is that you can undo if you make a mistake. So I'm just gonna clear that. So great, now that we've edited our data, what happens if I wanted to share my data with multiple people in my organization? So for that, we'll go back to ArcGIS Online. So here's our data. So you'll have access the item details. In here, you have the option to share. And with this, you can share with everyone, so that would be to the public, or you can share to the organization. So the organization is everybody who is a member of your organization will have access to this data, and then we can save. So let's go back to my content. So say I wanted to, my healthcare facility, I wanted to share that with only specific people that I work for in my company. For that, we would have to create a group and invite our my colleagues to it. So you can create a group through the groups tab and pressing the create button, create group button. Again, you'll have to add a name for it. So healthcare, healthcare. Again, you'll have to add a summary for Washington, whoops, state, state. Again, you'll have to add tags, which are keywords. So, you know, health, there, health and safety. That's a good one. All right, so who can view this group? So you're gonna say only group members. Everything else will keep the same and then we're gonna create the group. So this will create a blank empty group. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to invite users. So you can search users from your organization only or you can search outside of your organization. So it's nice if you have um, somebody else you wanna share this data with that's outside of your organization, as long as they have an organization in ArcGIS Online too, you can share the data with them. But for this example, I want to share it with my colleague, Jessica. There we go. And I'm going to click invite user. So now I've invited my user. Once she logs in, she can accept the invitation and she'll be able to view my data. But right now, I don't have any items. So what I'll have to do is under content, I'm gonna share my healthcare facilities. And for that, you can check it on, click share. Right now we are going to click edit group sharing and I have a lot of groups. I should have cleaned that up a bit. We're going to select healthcare and click OK and click save. So now if we go back to my group and back. And there we go. And now we'll see that my healthcare hosted feature layer is shared to the group and that my colleagues Jess will be able to access it. So nobody else in my organization will be able to view this except for her and me as the owner, obviously. So that's how easy it is to share our content and work with ArcGIS Pro. I hope this video helps encourage you to start thinking about working with ArcGIS Online if you haven't already. Thank you.